One thing that students often don't take into consideration when they are preparing their audition is to actually practice your pacing. When you go into the audition for your regional auditions, you're going to be excited, and you should be, because you've worked on this enough that it should matter to you. So there's a difference between nerves and that little fire of excitement. And sometimes, you know, uh, people can get a little too excited and then let their audition get away from them. And here's what I mean. If you go in and if you don't take a second to get your bearings, close your eyes, take a good breath and relax and start singing the etude in your head, it's really easy for people to start playing without their pulse or to get uh, into a tempo that is not what they've been preparing. So what I would recommend is just take a cell phone and turn on a stopwatch and go ahead and start it and then flip it right over and then play through your chromatic scale play through two major scales, and then after that, take your time on each etude. I would recommend actually giving yourselves 35 to 40 seconds on each etude, and then take about 10 to 20 seconds between each etude. Uh, that way, during those 10 seconds, you can take time, eliminate what you just did in your head, start thinking about the pulse and the flow and the feel and the style of the next etude, and when you get ready to dive in, dive in and don't stop can't tell you how many times students have done auditions and then stopped in the middle and then tried to completely restart. Or even worse, they asked the proctor, can I do this over again? So um, here's an example. I'm going to actually do a mock audition, and I'm going to do it right in front of you. I'm going to flip over the stopwatch, and then I'm going to show you. I'm going to talk even to you between the etudes, and I think that you're going to realize that the three to four minutes that you can take in your audition actually can be feel an awful lot longer than you may realize. So, here we go. I'm going to press start. The first thing I'm going to do is my chromatic scale. Now, I'm going to randomize a couple of scales, and let's say, for example, that I'm asked my E scale, and maybe it's tongued. And then maybe I got asked my F scale, slurred. And now I'm going to go into my first etude. But before I do so, I'm going to think in my head, I want to get that groove. I'm not going to take the time to finger through it. You've already practiced it enough so that you don't really need another fingering through it. Once I start, I'm just going to get in the groove. I'm going to keep going with it. Now as I prepare for the second etude, I'm going to sing it in my head. If I had a finger fumble, or if I didn't quite get a clean run on that first one, I'm going to completely ignore it. Get it out of your mind. Just think ahead to this next one. Dee, da da dee, da. And make sure that you got the style in your head. Once I feel like I got the flow, it's kind of like musical jump rope. I'm just going to dive in, I'm going to jump in and just keep going. Now, I'm going to eliminate that speed from my head because the third etude is where a lot of students will start too slow because they just came off of the slower etude. They'll get into the third etude and a few measures into it, they'll feel like, geez, I'm too slow and they'll try to speed up in the middle of it. Also, keep in mind this. You probably were sitting outside your audition room and you heard some people before you play this etude and they may be playing it at different speeds than you are. Always play your best etude, what you've been practicing, and make sure that you're prepared to go at a tempo that you can control. I've heard many students audition before where they come in and they try to play the etude at a tempo that they can't control. Don't let that be you. So I'm going to sing in my head. Da, 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 digga, digga, da, digga, digga, da, digga, da, and then I'll start. <laughs> I just pressed
press stop on my stopwatch. Since I was talking out loud and kind of telling you what's going on in my head between these etudes and, and after the scales, you may think that this was a real long video, but here it is. Three minutes and 26 seconds. You got more time in the audition room than I think most people realize. Take advantage of that time. Relax, always focus on the style and the pulse, and find your pulse and your tempo that you can control and give a musical presentation. So I hope that this idea can help you practice for your audition. Make sure that you can feel more relaxed and practice pacing your audition. And best of luck in your practice. Take care.